da 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 Whenever you work in a field like mine, is um, a lot of times work comes in huge amounts. So that's kind of what's been happening. So this morning, I'm going to endeavor to do a really quick um, sketch, uh, traditionally of course, of a fish, and see what you guys think. Um, I'll just kind of chat really quick, and then I'll put it on time lapse. Um, I'm using my Canon HD camera today because. Figured I've, you know, I own it. I might as well go ahead and use it. So, since I last talked to you guys, um, I've had a lot go on, of course, as all of us do. Um, I can't even remember the last time I posted a video, unfortunately, which isn't good. I apologize for that. I'm to try to get some videos out, you know, weekly, but. Sometimes it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys can relate, but um, that's kind of where I'm at. I've um, been working on lots of concepts, doing lots of toys, stuff I can't talk about, of course. Lots of digital sculpting, stuff I can't talk about, of course. It's kind of one of those deals where, you know, if you find somebody on the internet or on YouTube that you really like, and if they're not doing it full time, like me, I don't make videos full time. I don't make any money off my videos. I think I've made in the total span of over 200 and 200 plus videos. I think I've made a hundred bucks. I think. I'm not really sure. And of course, recently YouTube changed their um, their user parameters to really cater to the, because they're trying to turn into a um, a media company that, you know, that really caters to large corporations. And, you know, that's what their shareholders want. That's fine. And it kind of leaves, you know, guys like me who just want to make videos here and there, make a couple bucks, um, kind of leaves us out in the dust. So I no longer will be monetized at all. So even if, you know, so to find me is going to be a little bit difficult. If you've found me on this video, thank you. Um, <laughs> um, you know, thank you for showing up. So drawing what basically is it what it, what are we doing here why do we do a warm-up video why is any of this important especially if you're trying to be an artist um, in this great big wonderful world of ours you know there's so many different skews as far as and, and job titles as far as artist and illustrator go you know recently one of the clients that I have um, was trying to describe me to one of their clients and he said are you a you know he asked me are you a character artist are you a a uh, illustrator are you a graphic designer are you you know what 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 are you I'm gonna put you in a box because it, it like it, it makes people feel better whenever they define you you know <clears throat> As artists, um, you know, we're constantly striving, especially if, if you're doing this on your own, we're constantly striving to get better and, and do things better and make better choices and, and whatnot. And a lot of times, you know, whenever somebody tries to put a label on you and defines you, it, 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 it's not upsetting, but it's a stark reminder that, you know, this is the world that we live in. They want to label you. They want to 
they put a salary cap on you and it goes based upon your skill set this is where you're gonna this is where you're gonna max out so my answer to that was you can tell your client that I'm an artist I do pretty much everything you know my my creative skill set should not lie within a piece of software it should not lie within the fact that whether or not I can I can sculpt something effectively um, and that's all I can do you know concept artist illustrator graphic designer uh, 3d designer assembler production artist you know if you love this wonderful world of art then you should always be improving you should always be finding you know what what can make you better and you know it always makes me laugh because that that whole adage of it's the journey not not the end that gives you fulfillment and typically it's the uh, it's the old guys that say that the old guys and gals you know it's the journey that gives you fulfillment you know there's a lot of truth to that but in the same breath there is a lot of uh, a lot of truth to it you know I I have changed a lot I think in the past four or five years with respect to my art with respect to what I love to do with respect to you know my craft what am I trying to say here why and what is what is this art thing that we're doing what is this why am I doing this well this helps keep the creative juices flowing this help keeps you know helps keep the uh, I like to call them the uh, the monsters this helps keep the monsters at bay as if you ever look back through history and you see some of the most creative minds and, and I'm not even close to saying that I'm one of the top creative minds in history I'm not comparing myself with them what I am trying to say is whenever you have a real powerful imagination um, a lot of times you really you're on that edge of of creativity and see I can't find a freaking marker what the heck I'm looking for a specific marker there it is so um, You know, I have I have a lot of difficulty going to sleep. Um, I don't know if any of you guys do, but I sure do. And it has nothing to do with you know drinking caffeine. It has nothing to do with um, whether or not I good got a good night's sleep the night before. Um, a lot of times, it has to do with the amount of creative ideas that are going on in my head and it's very it's very hard to turn that stuff off I don't know if you guys can relate if you can let me you know leave me a comment I have an enormous amount of, of uh, see, I'm trying to draw and talk to you guys at the same time it's not working very well I have an enormous amount of issues sometimes going to sleep because of the ideas that are in my brain and it's kind of a two-edged sword because it's like I'm having issues going to sleep and it's you know suddenly I didn't get a good night's sleep and then it's gonna work against me um, the next day so that creative mind sometimes I mean, it's not really a restless mind I don't think I have a restless mind but I, I think that I definitely ride that line um, of that creative you know balance um, and I'm not saying that you know 
those really creative minds are tortured um, because I've met a lot of very sensible, very creative human beings that have no problem going to sleep. They have great family life, and and that's you know that's a that's a wonderful thing. But I am saying, for me, I have a very hard time turning off my brain. So. Drawing, and, and this helps me, it's kind of like self-medication. You know, right now, whenever I, I draw in the morning, or draw in the afternoon, or doing whatever, I'm actually, you know, I'm kind of self-medicating that creative mind. Because this helps, whenever I draw like this, it, it helps me get some of those, you know, bats out of my... Uh, Out of my out of my creative uh, brain, I keep rumbling on. I'm sure it's irritating everybody, but you know what? I'm okay with that. <clears throat> you know, I definitely enjoy drawing traditionally, um, and I highly recommend it to those who are. You know, and I've said this before on my channel. Those of you who are at a computer screen all day, although a very powerful tool, I personally like to go traditional every once in a while. It's the feel of the paper, it's the feel of the tools in my hand, it's the smell of the ink, it's the, you know, just the tactile feel of those tools in your hand that really brings forth some type of creative um, extra. You know, I recently got, I'm going to do a review of it, I recently got an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. And you guys know that I'm a huge proponent of technology and I've actually had a Surface Pro for quite a while and I really like it but I was finding that even though the Surface Pro is a fantastic machine it's super powerful you know it, it does have its downfalls and one of them had to do with battery life the other had to do with um, you know weight and also Intrig technology isn't as fantastic as Wacom technology and I like Wacom technology I use a a big Wacom 22 HD screen to draw with um, on my main machine. But I got the iPad from one of my clients. Um, you know, I had mentioned it to him, and he uh, he graciously stepped up. Fantastic guy, um, and he provided it which is really nice. So, but I'll do a review on the iPad soon. I'm sure that there's a billion different reviews of the iPad. And the iPad, you know, I'm kind of coming late to the game because, you know, I didn't buy the iPad Pro instantaneously, whatever, three years, four years, whenever it came out ago. But I like it. It's nice. It's, it's a nice, uh, quick machine because you can open the cover, your drawing can be right there. Um, it's just really nice to be able to just flip it open. You know, it's kind of funny and you're like, well, that's nice, but can't you do that with a pencil? Yeah. <laughs> that's what's so funny. Yeah, I can. Thanks for bursting my bubble. I can do it with a, a stinking pencil. I don't need to go out and spend $900 on a luxury item, and that's ultimately what it is. Um, I mean, if, if, you know, you need to use certain things in the digital world, then yeah, iPads are great. But at the end of the day, you can do a lot with a pencil. Um, I'm just drawing, just drawing a character, just having fun. Not really doing anything specific 
So, but I do like the iPad. I like the uh, iPad Pro. I like the um, I like the Surface. I do have a Cinti Companion that I like. You know, all these machines are great, but at the end of the day, they're just tools. You know, it's not going to completely solve your issues if you have drawing issues. If you, you know, if you're having creative issues. Recently, I, I listened to a person, um, and he's a teenager, and he loves to draw, and he was like, I don't know what to draw. I've drawn everything. And I thought to myself, brah, you have not drawn everything. You, come on, man. You've drawn everything in the world? So that was just like, oh gosh, teenagers. You know, I remember being that young. And I, you know, I'm not trying to belittle him at all, but the plain fact of the matter is, he was like, I've drawn everything in the world. And I'm thinking, no, you haven't. And then I, so I, I sat down with him and I said, you know, whenever I have issues uh, drawing, I'll pick a subject matter and I'll just drive it into the ground. <laughs> You know, I'll, I'll pick an animal. Let's say, let's pick a bear, okay? Because right now I'm actually doing this. I'm drawing one of the characters uh, for the children's book that I'm working on. Um, and I'll be, I'll be doing that whole process here on the, on the YouTubes. Um, you know, I, I knew how to draw a bear, sort of, but I didn't really know all the intricacies. So of course I bought a course on how to draw a bear. I looked up bear reference. I watched other people draw bears. And you know, really educating myself, even though, you know, I could look at a bear and draw a bear. That's not a problem. I want to be able to draw a bear from imagination. And that is a huge difference between looking at a picture of a bear, drawing said bear, and on the other side of the equation, drawing the bear from imagination. I want to be able to have expression with the bear, so on and so forth. This is very similar to what animators do. They'll, you know, take three weeks to get acquainted with the character designs, you know, draw the character a lot, get all the intricacies and the nuances. And, you know, on top of that, I have to design a character for the children's book. There's two of them. There's a bear and an alligator. You guys have seen me draw both of those characters on here before, so I'm not going to go into what the children's story is. Um, but I told him, I said, you need to pick an animal, pick a subject matter, and you need to draw the crap out of it. Draw it from every angle. Draw at nighttime, daytime. Draw the character or animal old. Draw it young. Draw it fat. Draw it skinny. Draw it hairy. Draw it with clothes on. Draw it with, you know, and literally just keep going and pushing and pushing and pushing. And finding out, you know, in that journey, finding out what a bear feels like. See, that's, it's different whenever you think about, you know, characters in the context of how they feel. Because, yeah, I can, I can draw a character how they look, right? How does, you know, how does a fish look? Well, it's got scales, it's got, you know, it's colorful and, and... You know, there's some textures there. Well, yeah, that's that's the technical side of it. But drawing a character or an animal how they feel is going to take a little bit more understanding of everything about that particular character or animal, if that makes sense. Whenever you can draw something the way it feels, which, you know, conversely is basically, you know, can affect the way they look, then suddenly, it, all, the, all the technical side ceases to be an issue. You don't have proportion issues because you've drawn that particular animal or character, you know, a thousand times. You know, he just sat there for a minute. Of course, teenagers are like, what do you know, old man? Let me go play my Xbox. What do you know? You don't know crap. I'm not sure if that's what he thought. <laughs> I'm being, being a little critical. Um... But, you know, the, the, the reality is this. To understand the way something works, you have to look at, <clears throat> look at it from the eyes of a student. And this particular 
guy had basically written off the possibility of him learning something new because he's drawn everything. No, you haven't. So hopefully that gave him insight. Anyway, thank you guys. Um, if you like what you see, uh, please um, like and subscribe. I, I don't know how many subscribe subscribers we have now. I think it's almost up at 2,000, which is nice. Um, it would be nice. Golly, I can't even say it. I can't even believe I'm saying this. What a wonderful thing it would be to be able to draw um, for YouTube for a living. <laughs> I know a lot of people do it. I actually subscribe to quite a few uh, different artists that do this for a living. Um, you know, they draw on YouTube. I'm not quite there yet uh, in terms of commitment. And, and frankly, you know, I don't know if I want to be. Because I like creating products. I like seeing products. And I'm sure I could do that on the side as well. Um, oops, I forgot to do that. But I'm going to put you guys on time lapse. And you guys can view the process. Uh, today uh, I used a blue I used a um, blue Kali Race pencil. I believe it was Kali Race. I don't even know where it is. Yes, Kali Race pencil right here. Let me go up close. Oh, I'm losing you. Kali Race pencils. And I used these really cool Sakura. You get these from brushpens.com. Not a sponsor. Um, and I got this one from, I believe, Hobby Lobby, and I got a pack of two for, uh, $4.99. Um, and of course I'm using Copic markers. These are alcohol-based because they, they're really good at blending. I also use Winsor & Newton brush markers. They're alcohol-based as well. And I use Prismacolor Premier, uh, color pencils. Um, uh, not color pencils, but markers. And I use, uh, these True Tones, these color tones. These are crap, by the way. I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of niche markers. That's a niche marker, but I do use it occasionally for blending. So, um, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, it helps out a lot, trust me. Um, and I'll try to get videos out to you guys a little more often. It's just I get up in the morning and I literally sometimes just come down and start working. And that's not a very good thing to do. Um, especially when you have a passion for sketching characters and drawing and stuff. And I'm a big proponent of drawing something every day. Um, and what happens is, let's put you up here for now. And what happens is, basically, I have started drawing on the iPad. So, if you guys look, this is some of my character designs for my new book. I'm trying to determine what the best look for the bear is. I'm really liking this guy right here, minus the mask, of course. I really like, here, let me do this, that light's making me angry. I like this one a lot. I think this is probably my fave. I'm not quite done with him. I like these a lot. I like this one a lot. I love him. I like him a lot too. Playing around whether or not he's gonna wear a vest or a tie. <laughs> so I've been sketching a lot on the iPad, which is really nice, um, like I said. But um, anyway, I'll put you guys on time lapse so you can see the finish of this. I'm also going to be setting up a, a store online that you guys can purchase the originals. Um, I had done that before, uh, but it, it didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to. I'm going to market a little bit more heavily. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, that'll be a little bit of a stream of revenue and you guys can enjoy some of these originals because I've got probably over 400 originals of, uh, of character designs that I've done and artwork. So, I mean, 400, you know, even if I were to sell them for 20 bucks a piece, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a little bit of cash. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for visiting my channel. Those of you who have stuck with me through the thick and thin, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to get the videos out to you a little bit more um, regularly, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's hard. It, it is hard because it's not just shooting the video, it's editing it and all that other crap that goes with it and uploading it and, you know, spending an hour or whatever. But I think one video 
One video a freaking week is not going to kill me, right? Is that what we're saying? I can hear you on the other line. Come on, my just one video. Okay, fine, one video a week. I can do that. I mean, at one point I was doing one every day. So, we'll finish this one up, and thank you guys. And um, I think that Tuesday's probably not a good day <laughs> to do this, Wednesday. I think what I'll do is I'll post videos uh, every Wednesday, and uh, you, guys can, you guys can see them. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. Thank you.